I want to inspire a new generation because I'm not going to be here forever. I didn't know that my biggest play would be driving it like Happy Gilmore. <laughs> That's an interesting question. Bryson DeChambeau is indeed a U.S. Open champion. Did you feel like a burden was lifted when you won the U.S. Open? Absolutely. I mean, that, that was the monkey off of my back. It finally, for the longest time, I'd always wanted to do something amazing for, for the game and, and in the game. And winning a major, for me, validated the fact that, that I, I could do something amazing. And now, from here on out, it's more about being the healthiest person I can possibly be. Obviously, want to win tournaments still. Those are big aspirations of mine, but it's not the ultimate aspiration. It's going to be an unusual Masters, obviously, in, in the fall, and I know you're into air density and all of this. How will it be different? Well, I think the, the conditions will be fairly similar uh, to April from you know, the grounds perspective, but I'll tell you that seeing the leaves fall, uh, seeing them turn color, it's certainly going to make for a unique and pretty amazing Masters, to be honest with you. I'm certainly excited just because of the unique opportunities that I have with that golf course now that I've changed my body and how the golf course presents itself relative to my game. Are there any holes there where you would most guys will hit driver and you're gonna have to hit three wood because you're too long? There's gonna be some holes where they lay up whereas I could go for some holes. You know you look at number three is one of them. I'll definitely be trying to drive that green every single day. I think it's a tremendous advantage and you know if I can make a couple more birdies there over the course of four days that's gonna get me uh, pretty good up on the field. And you're down to a five degree driver, right? Mm -hmm. How low yeah. can that get? So the, the loft can get to negative five even. I mean, it just depends on how you're delivering the clubs. It's really dynamic loft. Uh, I want to have a dynamic loft of uh, probably around 12 to 13 degrees, uh, which will make the ball launch hopefully around 15. It just depends on how it interacts and leaves the face. But for me, it could get even to, to negative numbers. Um, it's definitely possible depending on how hard and how fast I swing it because as you start swinging faster, friction increases, spin rate increases, so you have to keep going down and loft. Do you dream of winning the Masters? When I was a kid, I dreamed of winning the Masters, and I, I obviously still want to win the Masters, but I don't, I don't dream of it anymore. I, I, I dream of doing something bigger than, than just golf. I've got bigger aspirations, although golf will be my vehicle to inspire people and do all of that. That will be one of them. Working out, being the healthiest person I could possibly be, being an inspiration towards others, that, that, that's really the ultimate goal. For me, I wake up thinking about how can I be better each and every day. And ultimately, if I'm better each and every day, I think the Masters and, and these tournaments will come as a result of that. You've been the best golfer in the world this year. Do you think you're the most talented? That's an interesting question. That's a long answer. Uh, the easiest answer I can give you on this, this question is, I know I'm the hardest worker. I, th I think I'm the hardest worker. I believe I'm the hardest worker. And I fail the most. I'll say that. I, I try so many different things, um, kind of sifting through all the dirt, trying to figure out what is going to be the best thing for me. I, I think that I was put here for a reason, uh, to show humanity something pretty cool and unique. And uh, yeah, as I look at it, as I think about it, that's, that's, that's what I truly care about and I want to do. I, I don't know much more to say. Chasing distance is not a new thing in golf. No. Why do you think you've become polarizing? Well, because I've done it in a way where I can control it. I can hit, still hit it straight while hitting it that far. And that's a unique skill set. And that took a lot of work, a lot of work trying to understand the bomb mechanics of the golf swing and how to make a motion that's less sensitive to air and be able to apply a force and not let it overshoot like what I'm supposed to be doing it through impact. So, you know, you, you go to impact, right? If I apply too much force, I want to have something that governs it so I don't go too far over that line. You're obviously the exception in the golf world in a lot of ways right now. Mm. Do you think you'll be the exception in five or 10 years? No, no, I think there's going to be a new class of kids coming out that will swing it fast if not faster than me and to be honest with you that's kind of my goal in a sense I want to inspire people I want to inspire a new generation because I'm not going to be here forever definitely want to see what this game can do 
uh, for, for the world. It's such a great sport. I mean, it brings so many people together. And I hope by showcasing the athleticism in golf, uh, it can bring a lot more of the sports world together. Let's say basketball or, or even the strength potentials of a football player, you know, somebody that's you know, plowing through a, a lineman or something like that, you know, us having that capability as well, I think that'd be pretty cool. All right, Bryce, whenever you're ready. You're on the cover of Sports Illustrated and you just asked to reshoot one of the pictures because you wanted to make sure you got it right. <laughs> there you go. When you pick up that magazine, are you going to think, wow, it's cool that I'm on the cover? Or are you going to think, did I get the photo right? Did I get the photo right? It's pretty cool, obviously. I, it's an amazing feat. It's an amazing honor. I'm very blessed to be to be able to have this opportunity. But for me, I'm a perfectionist through and through. And you know, my parents say it to this day, they 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 loved me for the fact that no matter what, I always tried to be as perfect as possible. They just tried to rein me in a bit, going, that's a little unrealistic, Bryson. We gotta work on that. A little more bed on it. I'm gonna snap it if I do that. Oh really? <laughs> Oh yeah, I, if, if it goes farther than that, I'll yeah. okay. snap it. That's, that's pretty cool. That's pretty good. <laughs> when did you start to think, I don't just want to be a great golfer and on the tour, but I actually want to inspire people. I want people to watch me. You know, it was actually when I was about 15. Uh, I felt like I could do something really unique and special in the game. That was when I was building the one length irons. I didn't know that my biggest biggest play would be, um, as of right now, driving it like Happy Gilmore. <laughs> I didn't know that that would be the thing that, that inspired people to, to change the way they were thinking about their life and uh, people are, are going crazy about it right now and I think it's really cool. I, I've always wanted to do something for the, for the game, didn't ever want it to be selfish for, for, for my own intentions and gains. I, I mean obviously that's a great benefit that's come about from it, but I wanted to, to get people jumping about this game. Like, give me that expression, just kind of get, oh, get into it. Yes. I am breaking the game of golf. You say talk about the benefits for yourself. Do you have goals, number of majors, career grand slam, any no, in mind? I don't have any of that in mind. That's just going to come with, with what effort I put into this game. And you know, I'm going to keep going. I'm going to keep going. I want to win every single one I get into. You know, I'm going to keep grinding and keep figuring out how to become better because that's Selfishly, on my own end, I want to be the best person I can possibly be. And hopefully, from that, people will become inspired because of it. <laughs>